Hi friends, welcome back again to your channel Frank the Handyman. Uh, we're back again into this bathroom that we were fixing. Remember that we have some water damage on these drywalls that we fixed last time. So it's time to continue with all these fixes. So we will start removing all dark cardboard that we have on the floor. And also we're gonna get rid of all that garbage that is right there. And after a quick cleaning, we're ready to go and start installing all this floor. Right now what we're doing is just cutting, measuring and uh, making sure that everything is working right. And we're gonna start installing everything. As you can see, we will have to make some cuts. Uh, you can use like any kind of saw to do it, but we suggest to do it with this with this kind of saw, but uh, you can use whatever you want. Uh, remember that a, a really good and sharp knife will make the work too, but it will be a little bit more complicated. So if you have the tools, remember to use them. And right now we're gonna start measuring that everything is great. And if you can see like Juanito is using D square to make sure that everything is uh, on its position and everything is aligned and on its place. So remember that you have to assemble this kind of floor. So just make sure that everything is working good. And if you have like an, any kind of issue, remember that you can always have a little piece of the floor and use your hammer just to make it uh, work in place and that it looks great. Uh, also, we had to make uh, some other holes so we can put the toilet back, but it wasn't a big deal. We started doing this and cutting and measuring again. Juanito was pretty quick to do this. So basically it's just cut and assemble, cut and assemble. And as you can see, everything is fitting pretty, pretty good. Uh, remember that you have to make sure that everything is aligned, that everything is just like going as the floor should be. Sometimes it can move, it can uh, make uh, look uneven or something like that, but that's why you need to make sure that everything is level. By this point, Juanito is almost finishing with that floor. He's on half of it, so uh, by this moment, I think that we have taken like one hour or something to make this job, and he was pretty, pretty quick. So uh, he kept assembling everything, just measuring with the square, and after making some cuts, uh, Juanito is almost done with that floor. You can see that finish, that it looks amazing. You can see that he's measuring everything and making sure that everything is nice and fitting perfectly. So yeah, uh, with your hammer, just make sure that uh, everything is assembled. And there you go. Once you're on the last parts of the floor that you're installing, remember that to check that everything is placed well, that everything fits perfectly, and also that you don't have to add uh, some other pieces. As you can see right here, Juanito is going to put some of the last pieces on the floor, so we have to make some cuts so it could fit uh, under the door, but beside that, like everything was pretty quick, and after Juanito made those cuts, we're ready to go. We're gonna install that last part of floor, and everything will look really well we're gonna use the square just to cut the last pieces to do the same thing on the other side uh, with the pencil we're gonna mark everything and it's gonna be ready to be cut we're gonna use the saw again so it will be faster and easier but remember that you can always use a sharp knife and here we go we're ready to put the last part of the floor we're just gonna add another layer and that would be all Remember to check that everything is aligned. As you can see, Juanito uh, is just using another another tool to put it right there. But after it, we will be good to go and put that corner in the bottom of the floor. So remember to make sure that in every corner you make a slight cut so uh, it doesn't bend or it doesn't make like anything strange. So whenever you cut, you just paste and we will just use white glue to do this. I remember that you need to put a lot of it so it wouldn't like uh, get on paste and after it we will be ready look at that bathroom it's looking fantastic after we got all the finishes done we're gonna put back that toilet on its place and we will be ready to put the sink uh, we're gonna start putting the last details we're gonna use that machine to check that we don't have like any any plumbing or anything behind it so we don't ruin it, the rest of the bathroom we don't want to make another uh, water damage so we need to be really careful and we start 
to mount everything. Remember to level that piece that is the one that holds the sink and once that you put it right, it will be working perfectly. Remember to clean a little bit, put back all the details and we will be good to go. Right now we just need to put these bars that works for people and uh, it helps if anyone needs them. So basically you just need to level them, you just need to screw them and we will be good to go. It was really simple, it looks fantastic and it's pretty helpful for everyone. So make sure that you have one of these in your bathroom and your clients will be really happy guys. Alright so moving forward with this, uh, we're gonna start measuring again so we can put the toilet paper and everything on its place and we will be good to go to start with the painting so what Juanito is gonna do right here he's gonna start sanding a little bit so we have like the same finish on the wall we don't want the client or anyone to know that there was a hole in there so we need to make it we need to make sure that everything is looking properly and nice and after a good sanding we're gonna start painting and we will be good to go we're gonna make sure to paint the four walls so it doesn't change the color or anything so basically when we're painting and we do the four walls we will be done with this beautiful bathroom look at this the painting looks fantastic you just need a couple of coats since this painting is really really good and that will be it amigos uh, remember just to paint every corner just give a little extra to make it really good and you will see the results look at this bathroom it looks fantastic now remember guys if you have a quote if you have any kind of this situation similar situations or anything like that in your house your office or school let us know frank the handyman will be there to handle anything and just let us know hit us and get a quote thank you so much guys subscribe uh, give us a like and leave a comment for us thank you